Good morning children. I hope you all are fine. Today I came with a new chapter, chapter 9, safety rules. We are going to study about some safety rules. Children, we should follow some rules on the road. First we are going to study some rules, some safety rules on the road. First one, always walk on the footpath. Children, we should always walk on the footpath. Always use the footpath. Otherwise, what will happen? Vehicles will come and hit us. So, always walk on the footpath. What is the spelling of footpath? F-O-O-T-P-A-T-H. Footpath. So, always walk on the footpath. Second, Use the zebra crossing while crossing the road. Children, when you cross a road, you should use the zebra crossing. You should use the zebra crossing while crossing the road. While crossing the road, you should use the zebra crossing. First one, always walk on the footpath. Second, use the zebra crossing while crossing the road. Next one, Use the overhead bridge while crossing a railway line. When you cross a railway line, you can use the overhead bridge. Otherwise, train will come and hit us. So, use the overhead bridge. What is the spelling of bridge? B-R-I-D-G-E. Bridge. So, use the overhead bridge while crossing a railway line. Don't use the railway line to cross. You can use the overhead bridge to avoid accidents. So, use the overhead bridge while crossing a railway line. Fourth one, use underground subways to cross busy roads. Children, to cross busy roads, you can use underground subways. Look at that picture. You can see the underground subways. So, use underground subways to cross busy roads. Third one, use the overhead bridge while crossing a railway line. Fourth one, use underground subways to cross busy roads. Next rule is, look at the traffic lights before crossing the road. Children, you should look at the traffic lights, whether it is green, red or yellow before crossing the road. You should look at the traffic lights before crossing the road. According to that only, you should cross. Next one. Before crossing the road, what we should do before crossing the road? First look to the right. Children, what we should do? First look to the right, then to the left, and again to the right. If it is clear, then cross the road. Children, what we should do? First look to the right, then to the left. Again, what we should do? Again to the right. If it is clear, that means, if it is no vehicles, means you can cross the road. So, look at the traffic lights before crossing the road. Then, before crossing the road, first look to the right, then to the left hand. Again to the right. If it is clear, then cross the road. Next rule is, always take a friend when you waiting for a bus or riding your bicycle to your school. Whenever you waiting for a bus or riding your bicycle to your school, take a friend with you. Children, always take a friend when waiting for a bus or Riding your bicycle to your school. Next rule is, if someone follows you or tries to take you somewhere, quickly yell for help. If somebody is following you or tries to take you somewhere means, quickly yell for help. Quickly ask some help from anybody. So, if somebody is following or tries to take you somewhere means, quickly yell for help. Here is what the traffic lights say to you. Here we are going to study about 
what the traffic lights say to you. First one, when I turn red, it means you should stop. Whenever you see red light, means it means you should stop. Red light means stop. Second, when I turn yellow, you should wait. Whenever you see yellow light, means you should wait. Third, when I turn green, you should move or go. Whenever you see green light, that means you can go or you can move. So, red means stop. Yellow means wait. Green means move or go. Children, what we should do in the house? First, do not play with matchsticks or fire. You can burn your skin. Children, if you play with matchsticks or fire, what will happen? Your skin will get burned. So, do not play with matchsticks or fire. You can burn your skin. Second, do not touch electric wires, switches and plugs. They can give you a shock. Children, so, do not touch electric wires, switches and plugs. You will get shock. So, do not touch electric wires, switches and plugs. They can give you a shock. Children, next, do not play with sharp objects like knives and plates. They can cut your skin. So, don't play with sharp objects like knives and blades. What will happen? They can cut your skin. So, don't play with sharp objects like knives and blades. Then, never open the door for anybody in the absence of your family members. Children, never open the door for anybody in the absence of your family members because somebody will come and attack us. So, never open the door for anybody in the absence of your family members. While playing, never play on or near the road. Children, do not play on the road. What will happen? Vehicles will come and hit us. So, never play on or near the road. Then, do not play on an open terrace. You will fall down. So, do not play on an open terrace. Next, where you should play? Play in a playground or a park. You should play in a playground or a park. Never play on or near the road. Do not play on an open terrace. Play in a playground or a park. Next, while traveling in a bus. What we should do while traveling in a bus? Stand in a queue at the bus stop. Children, at the bus stop, we should stand in a queue. Stand in a queue at the bus stop. Next, do not push anybody while getting in or out of the bus. Wait for your turn. So, children, do not push anybody. If you push means they will fall. So, do not push anybody while getting in or out of the bus. One after another, you can enter. Wait for your turn. So, do not push anybody while getting in or out of the bus. Wait for your turn. Next, do not lean out of the window of a moving bus. Children, you should not put hands or head out of the window of a moving bus. So, do not lean out of the window of a moving bus. Next, never talk to the driver when he is driving. It will deviate his concentration. So, never talk to the driver when he is driving. Next, do not get on or off a moving bus. If you do this like means, it will create accident. So, do not get on or off a moving bus. Children, once more, 
Do not lean out of the window of a moving bus. Never talk to the driver when he is driver. Do not get on or off a moving bus. What we should do while swimming? First, ask an adult person to be with you when you swim. Never go alone, children. If you want to swim means you should ask an adult person to come with you. Never go alone to swim. So, if you want to swim means ask an adult person to come with you. Never go alone. Second, swim in the part of the pool where the water is not deep. Children, deep water swimming is dangerous. So, swim in the part of the pool where the water is not deep. Children, here are some dictation words for you. Study the spellings. First one, safety. S A F E T Y. Safety. Second, footpath. F O O T P A T H. Footpath. Third, traffic. T R A F F I C. Traffic. Then, zebra. Z E B R A. Zebra. Then, Subways S U B W A Y S Subways Then Bridge B R I D G E Bridge Then Switches S W I T C H E S Switches Nice K N I V E S Nice Lean. L E A N. Lean. Objects. O B J E C T S. Objects. Children, I hope you understand the chapter. Read the chapter two or three times. Thank you.